Educated and Broke is a weekly entertainment podcast where we mix hip hop, headlines, and all things ATL into the success of Black millennials in the Black. Black Educated and Broke. All right, all right. Yes, yeah, shout out to that intro right there, y'all. How y'all doing tonight, everybody? Woo! You know, and it's okay. He was warming up. I'm trying again. <laughs> Thank you. How y'all doing tonight, everybody? Yes, I want to welcome you all to Black, Educated, and Broke. I want to thank you all for coming out to celebrate with us. So now y'all got turkeys to be roasted and hams to be sliced and all that. Carry on. Y'all can tell Randy ain't never been to a Black Thanksgiving. She talking about roasted turkey? Yeah, well, we've had fried turkey, but you know roasted turkey. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you can be cooking your Thanksgiving meal, but you want to hang out with us. So shout out to that. So... Mike, Ron. Oh, and speaking of Mike, Mike Mike. B isn't here tonight, right? Mike is cooking. So Mike B, he does our melanin news every time for Black Educated and Broke, you know, but he, uh, he making some... He said he cooked it for 40 people. Yeah, like, he allegedly. So, but I make sure I'm giving... I believe you, Mike. So when you hear this shit, just know Randy was on your life. I mean, okay, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm I'm cooking when we leave. What you gonna make today, Q? So I'm gonna keep it funky. So I I brined this turkey yesterday. So I've been sitting in and I made it 48 hours. And then I jerk some chicken that I'm gonna throw on the big green egg all this tonight when we get done. You can do all of that? Like, ain't you gonna be tired and late? Cause you know our show gonna be like, yeah. gonna take all your That's, energy, right? Uh, no, see, I'm like the energizer button. Okay, I want you to keep it some, friendly. Some niggas need 44 hours. I'm like, are you ready? Hey, oh. I'm, making, I'm making something too. What you making, Ryan? He making a whoopie. I'm making, I'm making a map of how many houses I'm hitting tomorrow. You ain't not, so you gonna be just going to the You gonna be giving people else food. You not gonna bring no food or make no food. He gonna bring up the I'm gonna bring your appetite. So I'm gonna let bring. Now come on, Ron. You gotta put something on the grill, right? I mean, I might bring a bottle of liquor. That's about it. Okay. Now, now that I can attest to. That's all I appreciate. My nigga will bring a bottle when he comes to the cigars. Room. All that. That's about all I got for you. That's the You bring your part. I bring mine. Maya, what you gonna be doing? My presence is the gift. Oh, is it Christmas or Thanksgiving? Yeah, it's the holidays. It's the holidays. Honestly, I don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. So. Yeah, I know, but it's a pagan holiday, right? Yeah, that's right. I, I just celebrate the harvest, the fellowship, the family, but like the reason behind Thanksgiving, I can't get behind. Educators, what, 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 what is the real meaning of Thanksgiving, Maya? Because so, you know, we black educated. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah. There are just no actually starting to teach this in uh, schools now, but it's the celebration of the pilgrims at the Bayfield side with the Native Americans after they built them all. It's their exactly. the dinner was their, you know, hey, we won when it wasn't even a war, so. Dang, that's yeah. rough. Okay, well, in Harvest Day, so happy yeah. harvest. Well, for myself, listen, I've been cooking. I've already started, so I'm making my world famous. <laughs> Listen, don't be a hater all your life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I make my bacon wrap jalapeno peppers. Randy is making an appetizer for Thanksgiving. That's one thing. <laughs> I'm making dressing. That's I got my cornbread already. Thank you. Yo, what's ready already? The cornbread. Get the cornbread oh, first. Okay, I'm going to make sure that you... Come on, I done Sean, it. don't eat it. Stop. Sean. Listen to me, Sean. Don't, don't eat, eat it. Listen, he yeah, already ate your spaghetti, so <laughs> don't get no worry about it. Oh, hell no. Nah. So like I said, and I'm making me some sweet potato casserole. Uh, Randy was up oh, in two cheesecakes. So you're making a dessert? Two desserts and one appetizer. And a dressing is not appetizer. Okay, I read all this stuff yeah. that you talking about making. I ain't like never it. heard you talking about making before. Shaw, you want to make a resolution? No, hey, I have a pizza stomach fire. I can't okay, tell whatever. you. Okay, whatever. You know what? That's I'm gonna good. move on. That's good. Thank you, you right? Will you use? We got to take the one. Right. They're good. I give it that. Hey, where are hey, hey, these look. beautiful ashtrays from? I'm looking oh, at them. Oh, come on, Brandy. And I asked somebody for a goddamn cigar, cigar, cigar ashtray, but I ain't got yet. I wonder. What's going on with the manufacturer? They said when you get haters, then you have a time. <laughs> and thank you, Byron. I, I just want my cigar. So I these, my these ashtrays are brought to you in part by Seymour Buds Ashtrays. I can follow that on Instagram. C-M-B-A-S-H-T-R-E-S. So I make these. And they come in a variety of shapes. As you can see, the marijuana is probably my most requested. I, you can do glow in the dark. I got confetti, weed leaves to go inside. Um, I I do lights. So if you ain't got no lights on your back porch, you really don't want to sit in the dark, you can flip the switch on and you can have a lighted ashtray yeah. while you enjoy what you enjoy. Now they come in squares, as you can see, they come in a larger square. I got old, old octagon, 
And then I have a big cigar size one. So, so how can they purchase, like, follow and stuff? On Instagram, you can follow the CMB Ashtrays. On Facebook, C More M O R E Butts Ashtrays. Um, and then these are all for sale. And I'm letting them go because why not? Okay, so they're free or are they on sale? They are on sale. And by on sale, I mean $30 each. $30 each? Yes. Okay. Even this one right here? Yep. Don't. Okay. I could give you the real price on what it costs me. Oh, wait, I just see the design. Right, it's so right? Yeah. But $30, that's a fan favorite. If you bought them and I had to bring them to you, it'd be way more. So what we can do is you get your steam more but ashtrays, you know, so you can smoke and do that. But then actually check out over there in the back, our vendor Shake the Sugar. Give you some edibles just in case you don't really want to right, smoke man. in the tray. We got some edibles in the back back there. Shout out to Shake to Sugar, okay? So guys, that's just a little bit about us. We're the crew. Like I said, we're missing my B. So, you know, we're about to now get into the actual show. So y'all can get an idea what the hell we be talking about. I'm black, educated, and broke. Give me a little music, DJ. Give me just playing with y'all. Yeah. a couple of stories first one big thing i want to cover because he's already passed but you know i consider him a legend myself i grew up on him um i want to say rest in power to young Dolph. you know um that was just so tragic to leave to lose such a talent i love that he was a family man he was very big about giving back to the community i know that stuff like thug life stuff that's the whole another situation but it just what he had changed with his life i just really hate that we lost the talent like that Pretty stuck on the fact that you said you grew up on dogs. I did, because that was during my college days when he played him in the multi. Oh, man, that was it back in 05, 04, 06. Yeah. We're not really sure if you ever grew up. But. Okay, you know, listen, just because you old as fuck, don't mean that you're going to come to me, okay? Good sir. Moving on. But we that year them laughs, I mean, they was thinking it. He is. He's the old. Cause you know we're all millennials. We always say we're millennial based. This nigga uh, is on the cusp. Yeah, he's like. Listen, yeah. He barely made it. I wasn't supposed to be here as it is, so it's a blessing any day. I see. Hey, come on, Thanksgiving season. Yes, oh, God, God, great. Man, you can keep I'm the old Negro spirituals. We all supposed to be. Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, for real, because as we see, people are dying like every single day. So it is a moment of gratitude that we're allowed to see another day. So that shout out to everybody here today. Glad I see your face because some people didn't make it. So shout out to you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Only Vegas, the face. Now listen, before that, another big story. Breaking news today, y'all. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for this since what, February of no, 2020. No, is that when he got no, killed? No, that's when he got killed, but right. Younger. Seven of those days went by before we ever knew about it, before they were even arrested. So it was May. Yes. Okay. So go ahead. Tell them what's the big news. What are we? What are we celebrating? And get y'all drinks up in the air as we make this celebration. Hello. Oh, we lost the mic. Yeah, my mic is on. Mine. Test. Are you using mine? All right. So like I was saying, uh, seventy-six days before they ever got an arrest, and hold on one second. He's gonna get to the now. We're going to toast to the... Oh, y'all, yeah, toasting? Who are we toasting to? The convention? Yes. Okay, yes. sure. Well, all right. Let's do that. Black people love the toast and shit. Go ahead, man. <laughs> all right. Um, let's toast to the fact that black people got justice for once. This is not a victory, but it is a victory. Uh, and then let's continue to keep his parents in our thoughts as he has gone on to be with our ancestors and those that came before us. So, cheers, cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, let me get into to the meat of the story. Um, but yeah, it is, like I said, it is good that we did get uh, some sort of justice in this event. Um, I hate that it came here because we shouldn't be here anyway. This should not be a case. This shouldn't be anything that we're discussing. People learn to mind their business and we all be a lot better. Yeah. I'm just glad that um, in a town that's 75% white, 
uh, and a jury of all white people and one black person that we didn't get a hung jury and uh, for a mistrial, and we got a conviction. That's a plus. Yes, we know that um, George Zimmerman said the exact same thing, and he got off. So without the video, without Mr. Dumbass recording themselves committing a crime, we wouldn't be here. Like, I thank him for that. Shout out for the dummies in the world. Speaking of dummies, I think he's a real-life simpleton. Like, have you watched him? He put himself in this situation. He could be at home right now cussing at the screen, calling us in words. But he's involved like a dumbass. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious that he put himself in it. And now he's, he's going to be somewhere getting bonky <clears throat> after lights go off. I'm going to see this Michael Ron just holding and looking around like he's going to say something and they saying a the damn thing. But I will say because that Victor on that, because what, just a couple days before the whole Cal Rittenhouse situation for him to get away with the wonder work for the tears. Like, he got off. But you know what, y'all? A part of me really feels that he really was scared for his life. They was about to get him, and I think, you know, he killed the white people, unfortunately. Um, and he did kill them, and, you know, I feel like he literally was scared. He didn't know what the hell he was doing, and I don't really have sympathy, but I do believe that he was afraid. He was walking through that threat and people and triggering people to react. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, we got some facts. Come back. Come on, girl. Come say something, Mike, later. Come on, girl. Nah, you speaking fast. Come share with us. Come on. Come on, Layla. Give me right. I love a good debate. We're we'll bringing the mic to you. Oh, he's such a dream. I was waiting on that. He actually was walking through the crowd threatening people to get them to trigger and react. That was the reaction he got was what he was looking for. I don't believe he was afraid. I believe what he did was intentional. He just needed somebody to jump first so he could say it was self-defense. First of all, they left out the part that he was a minor and shouldn't even have had that type of fire on. Fire. And all, they didn't even put that on the table. Why is that not even a conversation? It was. Briefly. Brief, exactly, very briefly, but how did he even get hands on that type of fire on? The guy who was with him took and purchased it for him. And so, then he was out there threatening people, talking about he'll kill all of them. Yeah. And then they tried to take him down because he was threatening people that were peaceful protesting, unarmed protesters, and you out there with an assault rifle. So what do you think is a conviction or charges should have been? I believe it could have at least been involuntary manslaughter or something. Okay. At least. At the least, because you out there with a firearm, it is already one. You ain't have to cock it and shoot it. You already had one in the chamber. You already yeah. just was eight. So you, this is premeditated if you ask me. Okay. All right, all right. Well, thank you. Give a round of applause for the opinion. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? Or you got some thoughts about the whole Cal Rittenhouse situation? Anybody else want to read on that? Because that's one of the things, you know, I'm black, educated, and broke. We like to cover things in black culture. We're very much into black news, black politics. Like, we're trying to see what's going on. We want to cover it, you know? Because we're going to do it. Because look, look, hashtag, there's his shirt right there. He's clearly Mr. Newsman and stuff other than Mike B. Mike B's the newsman. I give him that. Oh, yeah, we he does. Get, he he, he would have gave us some more statistics. Now, Maya, I know you had a story you were talking about. She must be a light in the mood, y'all. Oh, no, I just want to, because I, mean, I enjoy this album. Uh-huh. We talking about Summer Walker's album, so, like, if you related to it or if it hit hard for you. It didn't hit for me. I'm sorry. The first, like, first listen, it didn't really do it for me. Like, everybody expected. Like, when that single drop, with that single that she has with JT, I swear to y'all, I couldn't understand a word they were saying the entire time. Like, the, I had to look at the lyrics. To see what they were saying, and I was like, okay, this line might hit if I could hear it. <laughs> I had to listen to it again like three times before I could translate well, it in my head. Who the Summer Walker? Anybody else listen to the Summer Walker album? Zay Snapper, she had to. Oh my God, no. They listen to everything. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I ain't ashamed to say that I did play it. You did play it. I played it. Right? Did you understand anything? I don't think I got past the second song. Like I'm looking for old R&B. Yeah, come on, Zay girl. I know you that was your CD. Tell me that. I just like it because if you know me, you know I like music and I like to rap over the song. So it was like I was making my own lyrics to the song, like you know, oh. like the boy version to it, you know, and like bitter. Caused a lot of drama on Instagram, so it kept me up all night with you know Cardi B and. um What's the girl landed on the track? Landed, whatever his name the is. Girl. <laughs> the boy. His baby, other baby yeah, mama. On the track. Baby mama against Summer Walker. They was having their little issue. You know, they was trying to go in there and have a little tussle. So. Yes, yeah, so you love tussle. Like, I love how you it. girls like to tussle. I feel like you <laughs> What does that even mean? You ain't heard? They laughing. They know it. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I know how you girls like to tussle. <laughs> That's like that one of the hottest TikTok, TikTok um, little, you know, 
Whatever. Shout out to our girl. Yeah, I can tell. Randy don't know what the hell I'm Man, saying. Because the okay, here we go. Shout out to our producer Zay right there, ladies and gentlemen. Zay from the Bay. Sorry, my microphone keeps having some difficulties here. I don't think they changed the battery. Yeah, well, they got a thing up. Like, they saw me. All right, sorry for that, guys. Yeah, shout out to our producer, Zay from the Biz Bay from California. Yeah. All right, there we go. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. She keeps us in line. We have to get ready to work to wrap this on up. So actually, so that's a little bit of our banter talk. Let's keep it moving because I did want to take this opportunity before we bring up Marlon Ballard, comedian extraordinaire. I wanted to give a shout out to some of our business owners. If you had a platform, you want to come out and I want to give you this platform right now to come talk about your business, okay? So, um, I'm going to start with Yvonne Chic Design. Make some noise for Yvonne Chic. This is our vendor. This is my friend. We've been grow back from Langston University, HBCU. We grow up together. Hey, Michelle. Yes, what is this? The floor is yours. Hello, hello, hello. So, I'm Michelle Yvonne. Um, my brand is Yvonne Chic. Um, and I customize and specialize in you. So everything I make is customized. So the holidays are coming up. Don't be a cookie cutter gifter with little punk ass uh, perfume <laughs> things and shopping for some um, little body wash kit things. No, don't get, don't get them, don't get them. Y'all can hit me up. If your mom like, you know, Falcons or whatever the yeah, fancy boy. is, or Cowboys, Dallas in the building. <laughs> so this one of Chanel cups I made. Um, I have Nipsey over there, I got Kobe, uh, I have sublimation pillows. I can make anything, y'all, I mean dead ass, like anything. So I just started doing some wreaths. I got a Falcon one over there, um, I got a Pride one, I got a Harvest one. Anyway, I ain't gonna take too much of your time. Yvonne Sheen, I can make anything you want. What about? You gonna tell about you got, you got some shows? She's gonna come to as well. We've been tonight, got that, okay, so. The show's so, so, time to shine, sis. So I'm also a, a comedian. I'm kind of funny sometimes. This motherfucker a little bit, a little funny. I'm a little funny sometimes. Um, I'm a writer. I'm an actress as well. So y'all can come on and talk to me and shit. We can share some laughs, share some stories. Y'all can invest in Yvonne Chic. No punk ass gifts this Christmas. Yes. Right, thank you. Thanks so much, y'all. Thanks so much, Yvonne, aka Michelle. Okay. So up next now, I want to go ahead and bring up Marlon Ballard. What? Um. Let me get DJ, let me get some like good theme music for our comedian. Like what what you wanna hear, Marlon? He don't matter. Just, just something from some Cleveland shit is the thing, right? It's right <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, just give me some DJs. We bring up Marlon Ballard, our comedian. Make some noise, y'all. Yeah. Come on that work, right? Okay. Alright, he's good. I'm glad you didn't play that shit you played earlier. Just me playing. <laughs> He played the whitest song he could find earlier. I thought he was gonna bring me up to that. Making my way down time. Uh, what's up, y'all? Y'all doing all right? Y'all doing good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for bringing me to the porch. I appreciate it. I really do. This, she told me it's gonna be standing room only. Yeah, you can stand anywhere you want to in this bitch right now. This shit. An uh, AA meeting, as far as I'm concerned. This shit. Is. Like, I done slept with more people than this. This some bullshit. This, I don't know who security is, but he's doing a good job of keeping motherfuckers out of here. This nigga is not playing. I'm playing, I'm just playing with y'all. Uh, we got some celebrities in the house. We got the baby. We got the baby at the bar. The baby's here. Appreciate you for coming out, baby. Look at the, the baby like, what the fuck? You got me. <laughs> What's up, baby? You doing all right? Hey, give him a shot. Milk on the rocks. Did, did you give him? <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to be up here telling jokes. I'm up here fucking around. Um, Thank you. Already, my man. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just trying to avoid all uh, grocery stores right now. Um, if you buy your groceries from Food Depot, you really don't love yourself right now. You trying to poison your family? You buying that shit? That's weird. If you buy anything from Food Depot, you better cook that shit that day. That's it. You or freeze it. You better do something. That shit is poisonous. Wayfield too. You right. You right. Um, I'm trying to get ready for the holidays, you know, people asking for gifts that they don't deserve. Um, my dad, like, what you gonna get me? I'm like, shit, a Fitbit. He's like, why, why you gonna give me a Fitbit? I'm like, I want you to know how many steps you took to walk out my life, that's what. <laughs> I'm, I'm alright, trust me, I'm good. My baby mama asked for Christmas gifts, she's like, what you getting us for, for Christmas? I'm like, us? 
Like, you ain't getting nothing. I'm like, my son gonna get something. She's like, well, what, if you were to give me a gift, what you gonna get me? I'm like, shit, I got two tickets to a Travis Scott concert. You wanna go? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Probably get off like right now. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna get off like right now. I know who cry better than him is Tyrese. It's sad when Tyrese cry better than you. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do that to my baby mama though. I need her alive. I need. <laughs> nah, I ain't no punchline to that. Um, and she's like, well, I don't want that. What else you gonna get me? I'm like, well, I know Alec Baldwin filming the movie up the street, so you wanna go there and stuff? What? That's, okay, see, y'all such a bad crowd. Cause we in somebody back home right now. This is. And <laughs> there ain't no people here to start a rumor and tell about it. I lied. <laughs> what did I? <laughs> this is no. Uh, this, this is a good intimate crowd. I'm definitely wearing this tomorrow because y'all ain't enough people to see this outfit. <laughs> No, but for real, for real, I hope we have a good holidays. Um, I got, how much time I got left? Okay. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure. Three minutes? Okay, I'll go ahead and promote myself a little bit. Um, if y'all know me, um, I, comedian slash, you know, writer just like, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm also, there she is. Comedian, writer, entertainer, I love to work with her. She looks, she looks dope. Um, during the pandemic, I created a show called Love the Lab Podcast, and I interviewed R&B singers in the 90s, most of them, some for the early 2000s. And um, I don't know, I fell in love with R&B more so during the pandemic because I stayed in the house and watched all 30 seasons of Unsung. Um, if you watch all 30 seasons of anything, you have no goddamn life. Um, Y'all know what Unsung is. That's a show about R&B singers that make bad deals. And at the end of the episode, they all move to Atlanta. And move to Atlanta with two teeth and two hits. That's it. It's just... The funny thing about Unsung is at the end of the episode, the artists always say some crazy shit. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm not done yet, I got another album coming out. I'm like, oh, you done, that's it, it's a wrap. I don't wanna hear nothing else you gotta say, Jay Holiday, you hear me? I don't give a fuck what you got coming out. You made bed and never woke up. He <laughs> suffocated, that's what he did too, that's what he did too, choke his goddamn son. But um, I also, I'm also on tour with a couple of them guys. Actually, Saturday, I will be with uh, Genuine Case and I think H-Town. So that's like the old, the old nigga reunion right there. <laughs> Genuine cool, like he, sometimes like he, it's funny because he gets stuck in his jacket sometimes. Sometimes he gets stuck in his jacket, he a big nigga. He's like, hey, Terrell, get this thing off me. They always got a side nigga named Terrell. Hey, Terrell, come on, help me, my pony. I'm like, okay, it's a wrap. You look like the pony now. Uh, 53 with baby here. I don't know how that works. But, <laughs> but before I leave, uh, special announcement. Uh, I see a lot of everybody selling this. Make sure y'all support black businesses. Um, I just wish some people would stop selling this. Um, ladies. Um, they call them leggings because of the legs. Take your stomach out of it, okay? Take your stomach right about the leggings. I'm offended. I'm not in y'all business, but some of y'all knew y'all looked like a bar of soap before you left the house. Now, no, it's not true. You, you are built like Paul Corn Leghorn. You are built like Octavia Spencer. You are built like a wisdom tooth. You are built like a file cabinet. You are built like a pack of cigarettes. You are built like a bag of blood. Y'all need to stop it, okay? <laughs> Number two, if you get ass shots, you need to buy the legs to go with them. Buy the legs to go with it. You need stability for that bad ass you got. You need it. A lot of y'all walking around here built like car keys. I'm supposed to be happy about that. No, but it's not cute. You are built like Wendy Williams. You are built. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. into that. I'm sorry. They're trying to get me out right before I get y'all canceled. Uh, number three, if y'all fail art in high school, you should not be drawing on your eyebrows, okay? You should not be touching your face. Because y'all be in the bathroom for hours and hours and hours looking at yourself, fuck yourself up. See what you're doing. You see exactly what you're doing when you walk out of the bathroom with confidence 35 minutes later talking about, baby, how do I look? I'm like, you look surprised, bitch. That's how you look. Get your ass back in the bathroom. All right, my name is Marla Ballard. I appreciate y'all. Black Man's Candy, the Broke Man's Show. Support, support, support. Marlon Comedy on Instagram. Shout out to him. Come yeah, on, make some noise. One more time for Marlon. Yes. Are y'all enjoying yourself so far? Yes. Oh, let me, let me, let me ask that one more time. Are you guys enjoying yourself so far? Yes. Okay. 
Y'all make sure y'all show some love in the bar tend to get y'all some drinks. We got a full kitchen. Support our vendors. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little break. You can give me like a two, a uh, one song DJ, and then when we come back, we're gonna have ten spot with you. Oh, so keep shit. them locked right here on Black Educated Era. We are back here on Black Educated and Bro live right out of Celebrity Lounge ATL right here in Jonesboro, Georgia. All right, we got a live show. We got some beautiful people of color and faces popping. I'm loving it. And those who may not be a fellow, you five and civil. I see you over there. All righty, so before we get into our 10th five with you, I want to have our vendors all come, you know, each of y'all have to call you at each time of our breaks to come tell us about your business. So, Layla, Mayo, can you please come up, my love? So, I met Layla uh, because I hosted her fashion show. She had a golden fashion show award, and it was amazing. And so, ever since we just befriended each other and since be popping. So, I'm going to let you tell them a little bit more about yourself. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Hi, how are you? My name is Layla Mayo. I am the founder and owner of Layla's Event Planning and Entertainment Previsions, where we provide you with quality event planning and exceptional enjoyment for your entertainment. Um, we, I also own a youth organization, and I do a motivational speaking, life coaching, all of that good stuff. Um, I specialize in event creation, so what we do is we bring people together for just to enjoy each other for a good time and unity and peace. That's what I specialize in. I'm also a book writer. I have my own book out, a three-part series called The Real Life. You can also get that on Amazon. You guys can find me at all social media platforms at Layla Mayo. That's L-A-Y-L-A-M-A-Y-O. And um, I'm just a happy, bubbly person. I just love what I do, and that's just about me. No, we're not done. We ain't done. <laughs> uh -uh. So what is the book about? What can we find? What is the book about? Okay, so The Real Life is a, a three-part series, and it's a, it follows the story of two girls, two young girls who go through a series of changes in their early life. It's murder, drugs, sex, kidnapping, all types of stuff in the book. It's like real life. So it's a realistic fiction novel. So it's about like true and fictitious events that happen either to indirectly me or indirectly somebody that I've seen, but there's no real names or anything in the book. But it is hot, spicy, it's gonna keep you on your edge, it's gonna keep you wanting to pick it up, you won't want to put it down, it's so good. I also own a magazine line called Loyal Listings where we promote other black businesses and entrepreneurs and that's just what I enjoy doing. Yeah, see she's a, so she's a Virgo like me, so you know our Virgo energy, she likes to keep a lot of stuff going, very productive. And trying to get some new batteries. But nevertheless, I appreciate you, Layla, for all that you do, guys. Make some noise for Layla Mayo. And make sure you go ahead and support in her booth over there. Alrighty, so without further ado, I'm going to give the mic to Q. And he's going to do what we do on our show called The 10th Spot. I'm going to let him and explain what that is and what he does. Uh, right. Can we get y'all another mic, though? I know. I need my, my, my co-host with me. Alright. I, I was working. This one, this one maybe. We got mice on the batteries on the other. Just a mild technical difficulty. Go ahead, though. This part is the second that I came up with. Um, talk about top 10 things that's really on my mind. Could be popular um, culture. Yeah, random. It could be something specific, like I talked to fellas how to uh, cup the season and smash and dash. It was BS. It could okay. be a bunch of things, you know? So. This week, though, we got to talk about Thanksgiving because it's coming. Some of you Negroes be feeling real froggy to bring uh, helpings of food that ain't nobody going to eat. Okay, let's talk about that. So we, we need to make sure that y'all know the rules of Thanksgiving before it gets here. You feel me? Okay, yes, sir. All right. Don't experiment tomorrow, please. Just don't do it. If you don't cook this shit on a regular, do not wake up in the morning and say, huh, I think I'm going to try potato salad this year. Well, okay, I have to get a rebuttal for that because last year, the first time ever, and Shadi put, <coughs> Shad is my witness and my proof that I had to say, you know, I want to try this sweet potato soup uh, casserole. It was the first time. It was so 
Shy, what it is? Listen, Everybody loves him. Like right we are getting cut off. No, no, no. I don't give a damn. We have already established Randy be at the house doing wrestling moves. Right. They ain't gonna Listen, take no, a I shit would never do that. How long? How long did it take y'all to finish? What the meal? Yeah, Forty-five the minutes. So you made them. They were this big. Well, no, it was a cast It's the dick. Right. How long did it take y'all to finish? So I just said forty-five minutes to cook it. I didn't say cook it. I mean, finish like, eating. Like, Oh, oh, I don't know. Like, oh, mind you, there's another like, person in the apartment and a dog. The second day was gone because a lot of the leftovers and I ate the rest the next day. Y'all had a guest? Yes, it was a Friendsgiving. That's all I need How to know. That tells me everything I needed to nah, know right there. Bit. He likes sweet potatoes. If you had a guest and it still took two days, the shit wasn't that good. Oh, my God. I wasn't moving on anyway. All right, moving on. <laughs> if your potato salad tastes like boiled eggs, just leave that shit in the car, man. I love boiled eggs. Don't bring it in. I love, I mean, I want it to taste like, but I love boiled eggs. Your potato salad should not taste no. like that at all. Oh, hey, Randy got a rebuttal first. <laughs> Listen, somebody told her, yeah, baby, let the Lord use you, and she took that for life. And he used, yeah, he uses me. Yes. Right. Sometimes he just feels sorry. You Boy, go to the next one. So the next one is, yo, when your cousins go to the stove, to make that run, because we all know them cousins. We smoke. And we out here trying to pick up something. We smoke. When 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 they get back, don't be talking about what's that smell. Okay. Listen, I'm you are low key a fucking hater right now. Oh my God. I need you to shut your damn mouth. You know what the smell is, nigga. You went through there. They told you what the smell smells like. Right. All you gotta do is shut the fuck up. Maybe we'll take you with us. Yeah, hey, next time it's be good. Why y'all ain't bring them the back? I went to the store. I was that cousin. Like, why you smell like that? Why you look like you was that cousin, Maya? My family was, and then I went on the ride with them to the store one day, and I was like, oh, this is fun. You could have kept that to yourself. I'm sorry. Now we're all judging you. In the midst of all those cousins. All right, next. Do not make your own cranberry sauce, all right? You be taking that shit back home with you. I want my cranberry sauce to come out the can <laughs> with the ridges so I know how much to slice <laughs> on each piece. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, do that. Yes, but some people get experimental and, hmm, cranberries, they're on sale. I've had these in my cabinet in a while. And I'm trying to make their own oh, shit. No. And you're gonna be lumpy. Don't nobody want, I don't yeah, wanna pick cranberries out of my teeth. It's supposed to melt with my stuff, my dressing, yeah. and my green beans yeah. together. You know what's bad when people start taking more than what they're allotted? Like, you are going over the slice. The what's the No, green? it's that one slice. You no, know. who's oh. slice? Who's oh. slice? Who's 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 Buy I'm like a dollar forty nine. If everybody bring a can of the cranberry sauce, sauce, okay, we have to fight to get our sauce. <laughs> and that's seen that that's the problem. I had to fight. Poor chicken drug. All right. Um, when I asked who made the macaroni and cheese, I did. Oh. <laughs> and that's gonna help me decide if I'm eat that shit or not. <laughs> <laughs> who made it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But if you know Granny or like my auntie, go oh, down. Wow. Listen, I'm coming straight only for macaron. I want to play the just Wait, like the Yeah. See, listen, we had this discussion. It's from Kansas City, ladies and gentlemen. I am. Right. You got one and so, so there's so we, that. We ain't got a lot of. We ain't got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count for what macaron and cheese. Grandma, I gotta make macaroni listen, that's, that's what I'm getting to my point, young fella. Okay, my bad. My, <laughs> my, I never met my grandmother's. So. Oh, Put you in the category. Well, exactly. Let me finish my shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got your point, though, because Big Mama do got to do it and pass this shit down. Thank you. Luckily, she did, and they got it. So it was the same thing, although I didn't get it from her. I still got it. You feel me? That's ugly. But I ain't going to help you, because for mac and cheese, I'm so tired. I just love good old Bill Vita. That's oh, fake. But that's It's so delicious. Randy, like her mac and cheese like out the box. You keep proving our point. It's you, you just stay I like what I like. All right, next. Pumpkin Wrong pie shot. is not sweet potato pie, man. Okay. Listen, I, I ain't eating nobody. That makes me think of the, the joke that Bernie Mac told. 
Bernie, what do my pussy test like? Do it test like pumpkin pie? And he got offended. Hell, I don't know what no damn pumpkin pie tastes like. That is disgusting. I can't even see my pussy. That shit don't taste that bad. Do it taste the same? No, it's not as Exactly. Same. Then I mean it's bland. I'm a pack. I don't know no Thank black person with pumpkin pie. I don't either, unless they ain't got no black face. That was the only well, one. Well, they can just be like, you know, exposed. Goodness. All right, stuffing and dressing are not the same thing. Nope. No, they right. ain't got One comes out the box, one comes from a multitude of other things. And if Big you mom. bring that shit to the house, you will be at the kitty table. I still got stuff in here. Blow <laughs> your ass up. Yeah. Don't bring no goddamn did, stuff. Did you say, did you say don't be copying Big Mama recipes when she's not your teacher too? Who said that, right? <laughs> no, you. Did you bring that up? Like, like, that? That's something that we need to throw in there. Don't be trying to make Big Mama recipes and she didn't teach the shit to you. Just because you take some nutmeg don't mean that's what you're doing. I can understand. You know what I'm saying? So, if she didn't teach you the recipe, if she didn't tell you how much sugar or uh, you know, anything else you put in that, yeah. oh, goddamn, bitch, I, I think I taste what the secret is, mama. You don't make it. Your mama tell you, your big mama tell you, sit your black ass down, she ain't told you shit. Don't come in there with that shit, cause I'm gonna be the first one to out your black ass. Like who bullshit? Man, I done done it before, man. My grandma was like, nigga. <laughs> Speaking of kitty tables, just because you're 18 don't mean you can't be sent back to the goddamn kitty table. I know that's right. You ain't grown yet, goddamn it. You can still send your black ass back over there. That is that grown right. folks conversation. You know how that cousin get Free. real comfortable? Oh, I'm at the I'm at the adult. Yeah, like, like when I go back. back. We don't need that kind of energy over here. Didn't nobody offer you no drink, my nigga. You can't drink, man. It's dead. All right, next. Uh, when I walk in with a different girlfriend than I did on Halloween, just go with the flow. Don't ask, who that? Didn't I meet you? Don't do that shit. Well, such and such. Don't do that. Listen, your guess is as good as mine. Anything else you want to fucking ask me? Like, not at all. All right, last one. Last one, last. Uh, please make sure you say grace. So everybody repeat after me. Grace come, <coughs> excuse me. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Come sit on my face. No. No. No, no. Q. No. Why can't we so dead? So I can't, I can't finish my prayer? Like, no. All right, don't, don't, don't make me cry. I need your pie. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, oh Thanksgiving, God. and all that. That's the tennis part of this. This is why we need to come here. <laughs> okay, this is cute. This one gonna get raunchy, you know, root to the good I thought you said this was that show. It was yeah. I mean, it was, it's cute. It was very cute vibe. I thought cute you were gonna say, like, Jesus no. what or something. No. No, sit on my face. You gotta be a little more creative than that. I'm telling you, I'm gonna sit on my face. So, go ahead and tell me I can follow you, Q. Oh, the takeover. All right, I keep it real simple. But instead of the K, it's a Q. That's what take off, right? So people be tripping. They're, I can't get it. It's K. No, baby. T A Q E over. All one word. The take off. Yeah. Just period. Just like that. Okay. All right. Let me get this thing moving. I wanted to bring up a shake to sugar. Make some noise to shake to sugar. That's one of our vendors back there. Delicious edible delight. Come tell us what you guys is. Oh, I know that's right. Yeah. It's it's straight to the point. It, it worked. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, so I'm Quincy. I'm Shake the Sugar. You can find me at shaketheshugar.com or on Instagram at shake the number two sugar with a four that he can yeah. me. So if you can't find me at number four, then just add a five. That's going to be me. But I got everything you need in the bag. If you want to eat and get high, I can do that. I got the butter if you want to take it home. I have lemonade. I have brownies. Um, I even have pecan. Um, wait, you know, I have candy pecans. My oldest customer, she's 79. She has rheumatoid arthritis. And I ship um, pecans to her twice a month. So uh, hit me up. Come back there. Or find me at shake2sugar.com or at shake 2 sugar for. Hey, Instagram, thank you. We're going to make sure we blur your face out here. We don't want you to get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you know. Straight up. Look at that. It's a pandemic. You could have wore a mask. It's been all right. I mean, you got it. Yeah, we just, we just. You better go out, bro. edit and blur her face. Yeah, blur me out. <laughs> gotcha. Y'all enjoying the show so far, though? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ye
Y'all did you want to show so far? Yeah. Oh, right, you know right. what I, I like doing these live shows. I, you said you do? Yeah, I, I enjoy, too. I enjoy this. Being in the studio is cool. Being on the Zoom, that shit cool. But I like audience interaction. I do too. And it's easier to look at their faces than some of y'all's the whole show. So <laughs> You know what, boy? You didn't say a mic. Move like, on. Okay. Thank you. Right. You're next. Thank you. Well, speaking of, just so you guys know, we've been doing this. We started this show back in 2018. So, you know, we've been, look, we ain't even broke up. We've been together that long because we're all family. And that's a little so you can know, a little bit more. So, me and Q, we went to college together at Langston University. <laughs> Black College University in the state of Oklahoma. Okay. Right? He's a proud member of Omega Psi Phi Absolutely. and a proud member of Alpha of Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. okay. Then Maya Poo, so I met Maya. We, we all of us work at Cox Media Group. We work for the radio station Kiss 104, B98, The River, WSB. So me and her started together back in 2016 at the radio station. And I met my Maya Poo. I was like, we're going to show me correct, you know, black and shit and bro. She's like, okay, because I believe it. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't the original name. <laughs> oh, what, what? You're right, bro. What yes. was it? What was it originally? Because we, like, we signed the paper together, y'all. So we, like, Thank you, from the first me. day up until, like, training and everything, the first event, we were, like, fighting each other's side. And Randy had came up to me with this uh, podcast idea, and I was like, she's like, let's think of a name, think of a name. This was supposed to be me, her, Mike. Yeah. And I was like, well, it could be two boozy girls. Who's talking about drinking and stuff? <laughs> right. And like being millennials and like having this conversation. Like, and if you actually listen to me and Randy talk outside of uh, the podcast and like Instagram and stuff, we actually sound like two drunk girls. <laughs> like, no one idea. Speak for yourself. <laughs> we always sound like, you know, if you have like, if you hear our conversations, it never makes sense. Like, if you just look at the text or anything, it's not like a single thought. It's like so many different thoughts that one, but we can make sense of it. That's why it was like two busy girls. She's like, well, no, let's try something else. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then she came up with Black Educated and Broke, and Mike didn't rebuttal, rebuttal it. So I was like, okay. And let me tell you where I come up Black Educated and Broke. So ultimately, we were trying to get on at the radio station at the time, get on air, media personality. And they're like, oh, you gotta have experience. Oh, you don't have enough small market. I said, you know what? You motherfuckers don't wanna give me an opportunity. I'm gonna make me a fucking opportunity. Mm -hmm. Clap, clap, snap, snap. Okay. So that's how we came with Black Educated and Broke. Ron, he was already working at Cox. He actually trained me, grumpiest fucking trainer ever. Like that. He's very specific. Oh my god, he was like, oh, let's go take pictures. <laughs> I ain't doing all yeah, that. Yeah, he's not gonna shit. put his face on the I'm like, but we gotta get pictures from Amanda. I don't give a damn. Well, I'm gonna take pictures. You know, and so I was like, nevertheless, I said, this nigga been here for a while, but clearly he's like, I'm gonna let him love in a minute, though. But, uh, you you out to uh, you shout out to your uh, college office out online. Oh, yes. Yeah. Come on, University the AUC. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Here's Mike. I'm Iran. Sorry. <laughs> shout out to Mike for coming here to see you. Man. I know. We love Mike B. Mike B is funny as hell, y'all. Y'all can hear him on WSB Radio. Okay. Okay. Y'all can hear him on WSB WSB Radio. Does traffic on the weekend? So check him out. So I was not a part of the podcast. I just came in to talk shit, which is what I did. No, he he was an avid listener. Like he would listen and hey, like, oh, I heard y'all show drop in. People, I love them. You know what I'm saying? I'm a supporter. But yes. I I just came in just talking shit to help out. Yeah, it was funny. He he brought the humor and the old shit to us, so we appreciate him. But you know. Dealing with Randy. No, 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 Ron. We're not going to do this in front of a live audience, okay? You don't let me finish. I'm not, I'm afraid to. You don't let me finish. No. <laughs> Dealing with Randy, I give her a lot of shit because it's fun. Yes. Fuck it. Why not? Mm -hmm. But I am proud of you. Oh. Because you were correct. You couldn't get us, they wouldn't give you the opportunity. Period. And you damn sure made it. You're not just black, educated, and broke. But you were actually on WSB doing the power pop. Yes. You did that shit on your own. Didn't nobody help you. You didn't ask nobody for shit. You just goddamn made it happen. I'm proud of you. She about to cry. Calm down. She about to cry. I'm still gonna stay on your head, don't got That's okay. Much. You know. That's why I saw I love I hate you. Love. I love you to death. You know what I'm saying? And oh, sir. Is it the alcohol? It's my goddamn beat. You ain't gonna hear this shit again. Hey, I'm saying that boy is worth all this shit he's giving you since he joined the cast. <laughs> yes. Before that, that's yes. worth 
That's working. Red yes. light side judge, I like. Yes, you got me on right out, dude. I'm gonna keep this shit. That's okay, but shout out to me not being in the streets no more. Okay, so moving shout on. Shout out to Shy, my boy. Yeah, okay, it's time to Alrighty, guys. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. We just want to give you guys the intimate moment. You know, we're black, educated, and broke. Alrighty, so our next segment we're gonna do is what is our millennial table talk. And so our millennial table talk segment. Hey, Mookie, that's my little place with the right there, y'all. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so our Millennial Table Talk is pretty much a segment where we cover things that may be taboo, stuff that's trending, stuff that's like a big debate, but stuff that we Millennials are really talking about. So originally we were going to kind of talk about like cuffing season, but we're going to kind of add that in there, but I want to make it more fun because now I see we have men and women. We want to do a battle of the sexes, okay? Y'all can make some noise, it's all right. Mm, well, you don't get excited if you're about to do the participation. This will give you all the courage to go to the young lady that you've been looking at all night and get her number. Uh, no, no. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm encouraging you. <laughs> do not let this opportunity pass you by. Okay, if you want to do that Mac Daddy and Call whatever the case. season, right? Come on, Randy. Get with it or get going. Anyway, so the battle of the sex is what we're going to do. So we're going to throw like a couple of questions out. And I'm going to have my ladies. I'm going to have one lady come up at a time, give your perspective. Boom, have one man come up at a time and give your perspective, okay? So before I tell you what the questions, the first couple of questions are, I need three ladies and three men to come to the stage. I want my three ladies to sit on the green couch, and I want my three gentlemen to sit on the right green no, couch. No, I want to stay your ass right there. You want to, Marla. All righty, so Marla. DJ, so, we get a little theme music while they go ahead and get a position, because if you don't come up here, I'm going to come pull you oh, up here, no. all right? Right here. And this is what you're going to ask. I came up one for you. You can create some rest off your dick. Somebody better not get the question. Don't let the boys. All right, so let me first get up. Come on, introduce your baby. Introduce your baby. She's going to go first. She's going to go first. He's going to be her against Jimmy. This this is my girlfriend, Serena, everybody. Hi. Hey. Oh, what is up? You can go. What is it? You know what it is. <laughs> oh, wow, baby, All right. I love it. Right. I thought he was about to right, get rid of Mike. You gotta get an eye talk. I thought she was gonna get your knee dirty right there. Sheesh. How you doing today, sis? I'm good. You enjoying the show so far? It's good. All right, make some noise for our special guest tonight. All right, so here, oh, he was gonna ask you the question for the girls. Let's see if you get it right. Okay, can I preface this? I'm not a millennial. That's okay. It, it's not okay, a millennial. Okay, okay. It's our, our talk to you beautiful Gen Zers, you young woman. You. So I'm asking the girls? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to ask, you're going to ask yes, the first one. All right, all right. I got, this is the question. Okay, I'm ready. I almost feel bad asking you this. Oh, gosh, you! Because, I, no, I honestly think you don't know the answer. I really think you don't know the answer. Okay. Maybe I'll save that one. Okay, but not, but maybe try another one for her. All right. How many points is a touchdown worth? Are you serious? Hey. Damn. Uh, you know I didn't want to ask her to ask that shit, man. I'm going to say it. God damn. That's right. I'm going to give her the mic because that was real easy. Real easy, breezy. All right, here we go. Let's go, let's, ladies. Hold it down, P.O.P. All right, so for my gentleman, Jimmy. Here's a question for the men. Donna, Donna. Name three of the different sizes. Uh, name three of the different sizes of maxi pads. Oh, what? Name three of the sizes of maxi pads. Oh, man. Sizes like your light got heavy. Light heavy. Oh, oh wow. He said, "What are they, Jimmy?" 
It's what you got? Light is light a size? No, you're right though, but face that light. Light heavy. It won't work. Light heavy. 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 Light heav
So, the last one you don't agree with? Yeah, because like, yeah. we don't take money, so we'll take some clothing. We may take like a two brush or something. We may take like, um, that cost money. That cost, sir, we're not being literal, literal, okay? Like, yeah. You take a nigga toothbrush? That's not what I'm saying. My friend has maybe some socks, like a socks. Wait, wait, wait. It was at this moment Shy started rethinking the relationship. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we got the DNA testing. Alright, I'm giving I'm giving the I'm giving the fellas a half a point for that one. What'd you say coming in and have a Alright ladies. Alright, here's the here's the question. Oh shit. Della, Della. Alright, Della. There are two popular Italian automakers. One is Lamborghini, what is the other? December 18th, it's a pop-up shop, so you got vendors, artists coming through, we having fashion shows, food, it's gonna be a fun day, bitch. And also, my show, Faith Has No Fear Show, starts um, next Friday, 8 p.m., December 3rd, um, Comcast Town 24, or Faith, hope y'all can come out, TV TV, 
Um, and before I go ahead and pass, was there any other uh, businesses out here you want to give a shout out? Anybody want to say a few things before we get going? I want to make sure we shout out your business, your brand. Well, I'm going to shout out me and, so, and my sister. So, yeah, radio, everybody's favorite, radio personality. They also do social media branding. It's called Radio PNR because a lot of times businesses, you know, they're trying to run a business. They don't have time to be posting on social media and trying to actually get revenue from it. So they hire me. So guys, make sure you're looking to go ahead and build your social media presence, make some profits from it. Definitely check out Randy O P and R. Also, our lovely producer Zay from the Big Bay, my sorority sister, also a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, out the day after at Lake University. Um, she has a business, y'all. Y'all know that, right? So listen, she came to the right city. She moved here in October, and she does body enhancements, body care, and beauty. And we want Atlanta. We want fake booty, fake titty, you know, on all of that, right? So she came to the right spot. So it's called um, Pretty Ladies Beauty and Body Care. She does body sculpting. She does the suction right day. Uh -huh. So let's go come up here, but I'm gonna do it for you. And she does the teeth whitening. The teeth gems. And waxing. And she does the waxing. So she's a one stop shop. So I'm going to need y'all to make sure y'all follow her. Pretty Lady Beauty and Body Care. Her personal is Pretty Lady Zay. And let's get snatched, okay? Because y'all know after tomorrow and Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, y'all have a non pound. She going to get you real right together, real quick, okay? Holla at her. She do videos about allowing to get her ass to her. Oh, okay, so there was a situation. I wasn't even going to mention it. He, you know, Ron asked about it. Ron, you ain't shit for this, bro. Was... It's okay. Go ahead. Yes, it's... Well, no. Come on. Don't do that. Shut up, Toya. What's up, Toya? All right, come on, Zay. Defend yourself. Our, our producer went viral on social media. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Talking shit about Atlanta, and they, they talk, talk shit back. Let me let y'all know something. Yes, Zay. Who here is from Atlanta? Let me make some noise. They're not going to say that. No way. Oh, shit. Y'all can drive better than us in that town. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. If you yes. don't like where oh, I stay, my way. What's the mistake? If he was from Atlanta. You, he just lived here. He ain't from here. <laughs> exactly. Just like the way. Exactly. Oh, he was from here. No. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Right, uh-uh. No. Everybody, <laughs> everybody know we give her a blush so hard. Hey. Is your opinion don't matter. Uh, it's okay. I, my opinion does matter. I'm not going to say right now, shy to poo. Okay? If you ain't got to see it, you know, all love, you know, all you uh, Atlanta natives into, you know, fix your attitude while y'all are rude. You came first. You started. Yeah, we did. Right, right. Y'all don't want to hear my opinion. Y'all better get out my sister. I'm going to keep going viral about it because um, I'm a boss. Yeah, don't do my video. I'm a boss. Correct me. You do videos. Yeah, I'm going to sit back down. I'm going to sit back down. Michelle, that was a nice ring. I didn't even notice that. Look at you see how the light shines. Michelle, right? Yeah, it's like that. Okay, so listen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 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 Y'all know what Shout out to Zay. Yo, shout out to Yo, real, real shout out to Zay because before we had a producer, we kind of did it on our own and we would go off on a tangent a lot of times. She really keeps our timing together. We ignore her 95% of the time, but we are cognizant that we need to wrap it up. Yes. Shout out to you, real. Nobody be rambling. We be arguing with Randy. That's what you be doing. Okay, we ain't. Yeah, nothing that. So, go ahead. It is time. It is time. Okay. They've been waiting for. I'm gonna get off this uh, mic here, too. Let's I'm trying to figure out why my man got my bulletproof vest, but I'm gonna leave. Just in case. I'm not gonna go in. All right, this is a uh, slap or dab. This is a segment that I came up with um, a couple of years ago. It's a way to bring on up and coming <laughs> artists uh, and get them a way to be heard down here in Atlanta in case they did not have that opportunity. Uh, with us having international listeners, that's right, international. We got people who listen in other countries to our podcast, um, as well as all over the U.S. It's a great opportunity for exposure, and most artists are looking for just that. So in this segment, what I will do is 
as well. I guess what y'all gonna do is we're gonna listen to the artists and then we're gonna give you guys the, an opportunity to essentially Apollo style that shit. I ain't saying boom and walk because we all look for constructive criticism to get better. But if you're not fucking with it, then you make that shit know. So slap it. That means that I will listen to it, I'll play it. That's what I'm fucking with. My dapping is just what it sounds like. Nigga, I'll catch you later, all right? Appreciate you coming out. But that shit just is not it. Maybe another song, possibly. All right. So um, let's see. We got Rico the Saint tonight, and we got Zig. Rico, say, I'm sorry, bro. Listen. I'm all off the head right now. I didn't even know your name until you introduced yourself a minute ago. Can I look at now? So I appreciate it. I didn't get these notes. I ain't gonna blast Randy, but I just saw him. <laughs> all right? So we got, the, who wants? Anybody mind going first? Got yeah, care? We're gonna say, go first. We're gonna say, cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna ask you just a few things. Let the people know who you are. You can introduce your song, tell them how to find you on social media, all that good shit. What's good, it's Rico. I gotta, I really gotta get right, man. I gotta get to that mode, man. You feel me? I gotta sing it up, man. Yeah, you feel me? Like, I got a lot of stuff. I gotta turn up, man. Want me to, we need to move the table? Low key. Low key, I like it. That's just a recommendation, though. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice up there, you yeah. I ain't gonna do my acrobatics in my backwood. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to perform. That's what I came to do. You know what I'm saying? It's Rico's name. It's, I got the hardest shit in the city, bro. Right on. Is that the Keep it fresh, keep it real, keep it right, keep it easy, keep it light. That's what I do. I'm gonna keep it easy. I'm gonna set these down for that. Yeah, that's what I do. 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 If you can't spell. I like the kid, bro. I got the hardest shit in the city right now, bro. I'm going crazy, bro. Get your sound right before you put me. What are you talking about? Hey, look. Shout out to the one of the hardest producers in the game. That's Task Force, man. I like the kid, man. I did this shit, man. He be hooking me up. Hey, man. DJ, I need my to play that shit, bro. We go to Saints, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm turning up all eight, man. Hey, turn up, let's go. Yo, hey, hey, count checks every day. This shit typical. Making plays, pick and roll with that gimmick on. Fuck that bitch, and then I skate, I gotta get some love. And if you get up in my way, I gotta lift you up. I be all up in my bag. Over the check, we pull up in checks. She giving me neck, she want new baguettes. Please let her correct, you don't need the stress. Try to find on the set, but we read the text. This ain't no movie, but you still gonna see a lot of action. Ain't got no cameras, but it's still gonna be a lot of flash. We doing damage, take it over, and it's looking trash. I see the hurt up in your face, and you can't mask it. Every day, this shit. Thank you. 
I need you to let the people know who you are, what you do. Introduce the music that you're going to do tonight, and you will also have 10 minutes, all right? All right, do your thing, brother. My name is Ziggy Zag. Uh, rap. Melodize a little bit. Instagram is S O F A K I N G X Z A Y. Let's go.
born in the ghetto, pops bust his ass in the streets just to get us up out of it. it. Took us a minute, but I ain't gon' lie, I'm proud of it. After all his choices, yeah, it took me time. Broke times too, every time it hit my mind. Probably was my eyes, I see the pain that rise. Down to the rain, and fall to my thighs. Had the game so peace in my mind. Almost felt like I should've died. But I ain't leave my mom with no grandkids, why would I try? If you had a choice to live my life, how would you sleep at night? Would you fight or would you fly? Think it's coming deeper every night. Would you fight or would you fly? If you had a choice to live my life, how would you sleep at night? Would you fight or would you fly? Think it's coming deeper every night. Would you fight or would you fly? Doing what I wanna do, pass them right over you because I'm six four. Would it be the damn shit to think I'm talking about some weed? When I say I need a G5, you dumbass, I'm trying to surpass the basic shit, fuck up, bitch ass. I work weird, I can't even lie. My ball wants to hit, I thank God for changing my mind. And the drop of the dime. If you had a choice to live my life, how would you sleep at night? Would you fight or would you fly? Deep is coming deeper every night. Would you fight or would you fly? If you had a choice to live my life, how would you sleep at night? Would you fight or would you fly? Deep is coming deeper every night. Would you fight or would you fly? If you had a choice to live my life, sleep at night. Would you fly? Every night, would you fly? I trust in my life. Sleep at night, would you fly? People every night, would you fly? Chance to come back. He was getting into another song, 
and I kind of slowed it down. So I'm going to give him a chance, but before I do that, Marlon wants to come up here and, and say a few more things, a uh, few more uh, ignorant things, I'm, I'm not sure. Right. Love so I'm gonna let him do his thing, and then uh, you want to come back up and do that last song. Yeah, Bet. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, go ahead, bro. How much? How much time I got? Three minutes. Like three minutes. Oh, okay. More like, more uh, like two. Give it up for both of these artists right now. Give it up for them. Shout out to my man's right here. You guys talking about Fat Boy Love? You ain't that fat for real, for real. Rod's fat. You ain't fat, right? <laughs> He's, fluffy. He's fluffy. He's fluffy. He's fluffy. He's fluffy. Good shit, though. Good shit, though. I, I felt kind of threatened when you walked in this bitch. I'm like, this nigga got a bulletproof vest on. What the fuck be happening over here? It's another round. And nigga, you shoot this. I can grab <laughs> this thing with a pencil. It's gonna go right through. I don't know where you got it. <laughs> Nah, you, 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 you fresh as fuck though. This nigga was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear these Jordans for something. Nigga. I don't care what green it is, nigga. I got candy apple. I'm gonna wear an army best green with this one. This is my shit right here. Nigga. But, my man got a seatbelt on his pants. I don't know where. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That nigga head is huge, nigga. Like <laughs> they look tight, bro. They look tight. They're a little tight. No, you got me? Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, you good? See, see, I see. This nigga spanked my hand. This nigga's a fruit. <laughs> Y'all heard that shit. This nigga slapped the shit out of my hand, bro. Know. This hand's wet, too. I'm like, you a porn star? I don't know what this nigga is. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what it is, no, I don't know what it is, but like, he, he, he rode with your whole performance. This nigga was Kurt Franklin out here in this goddamn video. Yeah, I can find this nigga's like, nigga, y'all better get the fuck up. Nigga, this is my shit. Tell your shit. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. I'm like, this nigga, he performed. He was shooting with you in the gym. That's your, hey, take this nigga to wherever you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, I don't know where you found this nigga. Y'all cousins? Yeah. You been on with it? So y'all family, like this nigga. He's like, yeah, nigga, we family, nigga. Tell niggas we cousins, nigga. Remember when Bob Hart was in there performing? He's like, yo, that's our cousins. These, these are cousins. These are nah, nah, you, nah, you, you was riding for your boy. That's love right there, man. Take him everywhere you go. Just make sure that nigga sit down somewhere after the performance. This nigga, when, you, when you finish, this nigga walk to the crowd like, yeah, we did our goddamn thing. I'm like, nigga, you did not perform. This is not your song. This nigga bust around, that's flip song. This nigga had his own light man. I ain't never seen no shit like that during the goddamn party. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga rap, he do the ad libs. He's like, hey, hey, when you finish, I'm gonna do the gunshot right here. <laughs> DJ wrote that shit. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this nigga is. That's what I'm talking about, though. Like, much love to you, Zubra. What's your name again? Say your name again. Why are you banned from Instagram? Honestly, I don't know, bro. You don't know? I don't know, you giving me like vibes, like I don't know, like just like by night you a rapper, during the day you you like a uh, youth pastor or some shit, you just give me that vibe, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know, he just give me the youth pastor vibe, I don't know, but that night the nigga turned into Batman, he a rapper at night. <laughs> during, the, during the day that nigga praise the Lord, and now you like, yeah, man, I'm flying, and I'm high as motherfuckers, fuck these goddamn, okay. Okay, I'm done. I got my three minutes in. We good. We good. I'm sorry. She be getting ready to whoop my ass. I'm going over my time. I'm going to be like, Joe Button, stop my time. All right. Uh, give it a one time. Give it a one time. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you. Y'all, that's the list for Marlon Comedy. He's amazing. Yes, yes. I want to give a shout out there to I Workplace. What's up, my brother? He was on our Slap It or Dap It. Um, I think maybe like last year, you know, I slapped it because I love underground artists. So both of y'all, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I definitely like the fat boy love. That was real cute, okay? But I also want to give a shout out to Steve. Uh, Steve's still around here, to our owner for this event, the hub of this establishment. is see around. If you want to say a couple of words before I pass it over to Rico State. Man, that's right. I don't know when I can make it always go out. But nevertheless, this is a high energy, baby. It's the high energy. That's what it is, girl. It's not wrong tonight. Okay, it's the energy. So make sure y'all follow this location, Celebrity Lounge ATL. This is going to be one of the many homes of Black Educated and Broke. We're going to want to do a couple of more live shows. 
So if you are not following us, I need y'all to pull out your phones right now, and y'all need to be following Black Educated and Rose. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close the show out with Rico doing his thing. Come up here, team, real quick, so we can do our little out before we pass the mic. Or a mic, or a front. I'm sorry to interrupt your feast, just for a quick second. I ain't gonna take this, my All right, y'all want to play the show this week? Yeah. All right, come here real quick. Um, new, the, got it. Come on up here, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. New Breed NYE, this is another one of our Slap or Dappin' artists who is Killing the game at this point, like performing everywhere, hella followers, doing big things. Make some noise for this brother right here. Before we close, I wanted you to do want to say a couple things because you know you show love. You really have taken the fuck off since we last saw you. So let us know what you got going on, boo. Oh uh, man, I just want to say thank you again. Uh, you guys been supporting since day one. You know, uh, being a part. I just said I go by the name of Uber Nine. Um, she bragging on me, but uh, just got done doing uh, Made in America Festival out in Philly. Came back down, I performed last week um, at well, the, one of the biggest high school basketball tournaments out here. Um, they bring all the top players, so it's been cool. So I'm just gonna keep grinding, keep supporting you. You support me, uh, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, what's up, what's your following and all that? Let's see music and Y'all can follow me at Newbury9, N-E-W-B-R-E-D-N-Y-E. Um, I'm gonna be here, so. Oh, my apparel, oh yeah, just my yeah, apparel. Yeah, this is apparel, thank you, Mike. Yeah, um, clothing line, NBN, um, you guys can, newbreednight.com, get all my clothes, all this stuff. Okay, so, Mike, get on my nerves. Yeah. All right, y'all, before we pass it on, it's Biggie Girl. I'm gonna let you start doing a little bit of All right, so we close it out. It's Biggie Girl, Randy O. Mikey's not here, but it's Maya. Biggie Boy Ron. As usual, it's time to cue to take over. Check us out, man, on the Apple Podcast, all our platforms for our next show. We all, we all next week? Yes, we're going to take a, no, we're not, actually, next week, let me tell them, we're interviewing an actress. Next week, we're interviewing an actress. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy Bonner. Bonner. Who's there raising, raising Dion on Netflix. Yes, so we're going to be uh, interviewing so, her. So, yeah, we, you know, we do our thing. We get our fair share of people y'all might recognize. It's because we in, uh, what you call it, Marlon, in the shoebox? It's because we ain't here, no me and Marlon is up, no less. So, uh, see y'all next week. Peace. Oh, yeah, Rico, DJ. He gonna close this out, there, go. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, black Educated and Broke, thank you, Celebrity Line. Shout out to whoever. That my shit, man. Let's go. I don't care if I gotta do it.
sent it on some drool I just let it flip until it can't no more, yeah, yeah. I just took his bitch, I made her touch her toes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm the shit, I'm in a different mode Can't fuck a drip and spend it on some drip I just let it flip until it can't no more, yeah, yeah. I just took his bitch, I made her touch her toes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm the shit, I'm in a different mode Grab your phone, grab your mama phone, grab your auntie and your granny phone and tell them to follow us on Instagram as well as Facebook. And that's going to be at Black Educated and Broke. We also on YouTube, y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at B-E-B podcast underscore ATL. Now, if you forget, I'm about to kick your ass. Ooh, not the A. All right. We in the A.